Hi everyone, this is Elaine. I'm coming to you with a step-by-step -step tutorial on how I'm able to wear acrylic nails even though I am severely allergic. This is a method that works for me, so of course I can't speak for um, all the other nail girls out there who develop an allergy to acrylic. I'm just saying that this is what's worked for me and I hope it works for you too and gives you hope and encouragement that you don't have to give this up. And I, so many nail gals out there, you're just wonderful and you love to do your nails at home and to lose this opportunity, I know it actually, it hurts, it's, it's heartbreaking. So I hope this works for you guys. This is just one of the, the thumbnail I had made previously. I like them long, pretty, sparkly. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to start this. Uh, before we go on, I'd like to tell you why I'm using UV gel instead of liquid uh, monomer and acrylic powder. The UV gel system seems to work really well for me. Uh, it's wonderful. It doesn't have any odor to it. That's a big plus. I was getting complaints. <laughs> so that's really nice. It's more flexible. Your finished product is still it's still more flexible. And the most important reason why I prefer this to the liquid and powder is that you're curing every single layer. Every layer you put on from the very beginning goes into your UV lamp and is cured for between two and three minutes. That means that when I'm all done, I put my last clear coat on, I can take off my gloves after I'm done, and I can file this and decorate this and it doesn't hurt me. And I'm not rushing to the ER. <laughs> My hands are, you know, blown up. So it's it's really wonderful and I feel a great sense of safety knowing that every layer in here is absolutely cured. Yes, I did try it with the liquid and powder. I had done a set. I thought that, you know, after your last encapsulating clear, that when that dried, when you could go click, click, click on the surface of it, when that was hard and it was dry, that meant it was cured. I was wrong. I've done a lot of research, but yes, not enough. The, the VP over at CNDA Creative Nail Designs uh, has done a, a lengthy article about, about the polymerization process. Um, and I hadn't read it. I thought that it was, was cured when it was dried. Unfortunately, the actual polymerization process can take up to 24 hours. Meaning us allergy gals, if we take off our gloves, we're not safe. And I had taken off my gloves, <laughs> and I was holding it and filing it, and it got all over me and into a cut that I had, and that was that. ER, shot in the toji, the pregnosome, everything else, and, and the recovery time. After that happened to me, I did more research and I found his article, which says this can take up to 24 hours to cure. Up to 24 hours, it's not safe at all. Regardless of how hard it is, it's not safe. So after I healed and made another set, I put that gloved up, of course, two sets of gloves on each hand. I went ahead and I made a set, put the last clear cap, you know, the encapsulated clear coat on it, and then I put them away. I put them on a shelf, and I didn't touch them for 48 hours. I didn't even go near them. Kept my gloves on, cleaned up my entire work area, and didn't touch them. But then um, 48 hours later, I felt pretty safe, <laughs> probably not have to wait 48 hours, and I started filing them. And unfortunately, when you use the powder and the liquid on the fake nails, it can make it really brittle and uh, they crack easy, even on a lightly filing. So, and plus it smells really bad <laughs> in the house. So that's why I'm using UV gel. So that's what works for little old me. Okay, so let's begin. After we pulled out these two nails here, and you fit it to the right finger, this one fits my middle. I'm going to go ahead and take off. Let's see. About that. Let's see. 
It's not too bad. I like a little more Dawn. Just a sliver. Hope you can see this. Okay. I'm going to set this down. Use my nail file. You can use any old nail file you want. This is 100, 180. I'm going to scuff up the surface. Gently. Don't want to do it too hard. Just enough to take off that shine. That shine, the little coating there on the fake nail, it really doesn't help us out very much. It's, it makes it very difficult for the acrylic to stay on it. And that's what we need. You know, just like in your regular Manny, before the prep, before you get your nails done, just regularly on your nail plate, you know, that you gently taking off all the shine. Same thing on these. Gotta do it gently. It's probably not really interesting to watch. <laughs> but that's pretty good. I I don't do this on the inside. You can if you want, if you feel that that would give it more adhesion. That's fine. I don't. I just don't. Okay, now that my nail's done. I'm going to go ahead and use my little wipes. And these wipes are a recommendation from Dodie. It saves money. I just take paper towels and cut them to look like this. I was using cosmetic pads, um, the rounds, and they left fibers and stuff on the nails. And these inexpensive paper towels don't do the same thing, so yay! I'm going to go ahead and just take a couple here. I'm going to get just a little bit of my rubbing alcohol on here. Actually, while I'm doing this, let me sing the praises to rubbing alcohol. Yay! Or isopropyl. However, I used 91%. It's fantastic. I had 99% in the house. Filled the entire house with a really powerful, yucky kind of smell. So I switched back to 91, which I just got at Walmart, and not very expensive. This is amazing because this will cut right through any UV gel that you can get on your hands. Anything like that. It'll cut right through it. It's amazing. That's why I use it also for wiping off the nail to get any of the filing powder left over. Wonderful. Now comes the time one. We're going to go ahead and glue these to each other. I use just this, this little nail glue that I got. I get overseas from eBay. I have to keep it in this because I knock it over so much. <laughs> I know that's sad. Okay. Go ahead. I'm just going to get a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and just glue this inside right here. Hopefully you see that. It's not exciting. I'm going to glue it right onto the edge where we cut. Just hold it. Try not to get any of this stuff on yourself. That always sucks a little. Okay, and once it's on the nice and firmly, you're going to go ahead, place this back on your nail to determine the length. I like mine pretty long. I think they're more elegant when they're really long. We'll go ahead and just cut this down to where I like it. Which is long. <laughs> Now I do have an electric file that I really love to use. I where's that guy? Here it is. This is pretty new. I showed it on my last video. But what I like to do, because I think it's quicker and um, saves my hand aching a lot, all the filing that I do, and this really helps out. Keep it at a really low setting. Pretty nice, huh? My last sound. And I just try to gently go over the nail. Take the shine off it. That's to give your your nails a really good shot by keeping everything on them. I'm a little OCD-ish about this. If I see shine on it, I'm not really happy with it. Yes, 
through the top a little bit and on the side. And if I didn't quite get that matched up, as you can see right there, I just go right in and file it down so that it is. There it is, okay. And you might want to file this down into, we don't want this big hump in the center of the nail. Okay. When that's done, it's time to set up a little shop so we can get going. Okay, you know that I mentioned in the list of things to use is some sort of tacky tape. I'm using the Gorilla. It's not very expensive, it's from Walmart. A pretty big roll. I've cut a strip. You're just gonna roll that strip up. Just like this. <laughs> Doesn't have to be perfect. Nothing I do is perfect, so. Okay. Just roll it up in a little ball. Place it in the center of your nail. Press it on real well. Just like that. And press real firmly. I want to get a good grip on the little finger pedestal that I use here. Now, I'm going to go ahead and do just one more wipe. Of the rubbing alcohol over this nail. Make sure there's no debris on it. Okay. Now it's time to work on the nail. Time to decorate. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. I've already prepped my brush and the rubbing alcohol. Yeah. Yes, my love. Sorry, guys. Probably going to be hearing more from him. Okay, I'm going to go in and you don't need very much for the first layer, just a little bit. Oh, I should also say, you'll notice that I am gloved up for protection. Yeah, I've got two, two pairs on each hand. These are the ones I use, which I love. The Playtex Disposable, great lengths. They're awesome. They are nitrile or neutral, however you say that, and latex free. So, I love them. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and cover the whole nail. I didn't get enough. Cover the whole nail in the clear. This is, well, it's just the sticky layer. And it's really imperative that this is the very first thing you do. Oh, I was going to say, another nice thing about the UV gel is that uh, because it's rather sticky and rather thick, it has a difficult time permeating the gloves, which keeps me even safer. Yay! Okay, so we're going to go ahead put this into your UV lamp. I'm using, um, again, my Breeze lamp. It is a 36 watt, so I've got four of the bulbs. Okay, so this is going to go in, our first coat, into the lamp. Okay, so it is finally ready to be decorated. I'm going to go ahead and, well, I'll tell you a little trick that I use. I had doing this, I actually used three different brushes, so that I don't have to keep wiping them on the paper towels over and over. Um, it's just easier for me this way. So, it's sort of an assembly line kind of a thing. And every brush has its part, so, okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and to decorate the nail, I need some of this really pretty dark purple. I'm just going to do the, try to create a smile line here on the bottom. I'm not the best at doing this since I'm not a pro or anything. Um, 
I just do my best, the best that I can. Okay, so this is a little too far up, but I'm going to correct that in a minute. So, with my camera, I'm torn between whether or not you guys would like to see this up close, which would, you know, narrow your view by quite a bit, or if you like it like this, where you can see all the little containers. But I think I'm going to go up close for you guys, okay? Hope nobody minds. That's better than you can see it. And all my mistakes. Okay. <laughs> so. Next thing I'm going to do is get out my glitter mix that I've made. I think it's pretty. I'm just going to press this into the glitter. That's it. I'm trying to only press on the parts where the purple gel is. But it never really works out that way. But I'll show you what I do. I'm trying to be careful here. And I'm just pressing. Okay. I'm doing it gently, but I'm really trying to get it in there. Okay. So my little trick that I use is I use one of my other brushes. This one's little. And oh, I forgot I gotta have a little pad there. Okay. And then what I do is I mean I drain off most of the moisture on this. I dip it in the rubbing alcohol, drain off most of the moisture, and then the rubbing alcohol is awesome. It cuts right through. Clean off my little brush. Leave a little bit of the rubbing alcohol in the brush so that the glitter will move for me you know, kind of get out of my way. And then I can reestablish my my smile line with this. Okay. Hope you guys can see. It's actually difficult doing this, you know, in frame. Okay. Just gonna get it to where I want it. I don't worry too much about this glitter right here on the top. I'm covering over that, so it really doesn't matter. And then if I get it too low, I just wet my brush a little bit again, and I take a little dip into the old glitter. So. Want to be exactly right. I hate making mistakes and having to do the whole thing all over again. That is a bummer. Okay. And then just like this, this is going to go back into the lamp for another three minutes. Okay, I've gotten it out of the lamp, and now I'm going to go ahead leave that part alone for now and fill in the top. I've got this really pretty, still light, well, dark purple. I'm going to go ahead and actually turn it around and work on it upside down. Hope you guys can see this. Just try to gently cover as much of it as I can. You can always go back and get more on my brush if I need to. What's really great about this gel, which is very surprising, is it's self-leveling. I got this um, Vanny Lou One had recommended this on her channel to try out Banggood.com and I had had some difficulties with them, but my goodness, my goodness, this is really wonderful UV gel. It just self levels, and that just cuts my time in just in half when it does that. So I'm just gonna gently. I'll leave a link below in the description box for for this exact thing that I bought. 
fill that on the top and it now goes back into the lamp for another five minutes another three minutes sorry three okay just got that out of the lamp I'm gonna go ahead and give this a second coat and pop it back into the lamp again let's see this is really wonderful and if, if you if you're doing this using this kind of UV gel whatnot and it can self level one of the ways it helps is that it's so much um, less filing that you have to do you know depending also on how many sets you're going to want to make yourself and again I, I thank Dodie and God for giving giving me this idea so I can pass it off. Oh no, there's Petey. Okay. One of the reasons I did a, a second coat is because I do want it to, I do want to kind of help even this out. The glitter can be pretty tall, right? So, kind of helps even it out a little bit. Of course, it's important to check both your sides and everything else when you put it in. Alrighty, this goes in the lamp for another three minutes. Okay, that's out of the lamp. I can go ahead and put away my purple UV gel. And we're going to encapsulate the, the glitter part with some clear UV gel. Got my little... Let me alcohol call there. I'm just going to move this over here. Scoot that back a little. You can tell I haven't made a lot of step-by-step -step tutorials. <laughs> I'm just only okay at it. Okay, so for this part, for the glitter, I'm going to encapsulate it with this clear UV gel that I just did. And you don't really need to encapsulate that top. Look how smooth that turned out. It's beautiful, huh? But for all the glitter, of course, you have to. You have to encapsulate every little bit of it. I like to start off with a big glob. This works for me, okay? I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it right at the top where the glitter starts. You know, I'm not a, I'm not some sort of certified tech or, um, I don't have any degree or any schooling except for what I've learned on YouTube. Um, and, so I don't know what they're going to call this, but I call this the, the push and pull. You know how you just hover your gel brush just above it, just barely touching it, going back and forth like this, trying to distribute it evenly over the nail, trying to get every piece of that rough glitter covered up so we can file it and make it something beautiful. So, obviously I'm not a pro or anything, but I, I like it. I think I like the way my nails turn out, you know. Heck, I'm just happy to have them. To be able to wear them. So, okay. Even the bottom. Just a little bit. I mean, I've seen people uh, paint on, use the paint on sort of technique. And, um... I think, hey, whatever works is great. Okay. You can tell it's difficult <laughs> for me to talk <laughs> and do this at the same time. That is sad. I'll just say that is sad. Okay. And I guess you know what I'm going to say now. That's right. This goes into the lamp for three more minutes. Okay, now we've got it out of the lamp, and now is the time that we can wipe it down. I'm using some rubbing alcohol on one of my little one of my little paper towels cut up. Now, just get it really well cleansed off. No, no, my love. And now we'll take it off the pedestal, just like that. Take off the tape in the back and. I use one of my styluses here to help me with this part. Okay. 
And then make sure you really cleanse off the back too, not just the front. Okay, so after this has been cured like this, I'm now safe. <laughs> Look, I, I just scrubbed a little bit, probably too much. Now I'm safe to take off my gloves. A little tip would be to make sure you, before you take off your gloves, of course, make sure your entire work area is completely clean of any itty little bit of that UV gel. If you're like me, it's a real threat. It's something you have to take seriously. It's something, of course, all of us allergy girls, we do. So just try to get keep everything really free of that UV gel. And now we can go ahead and start to file. So I've got a great electric file and everything, but I have to keep it on the lowest speed so that it doesn't hurt my little purple area. See how smooth it is? It takes very little filing whatsoever. This, of course, is the monster. So uh, let's go ahead and start filing a little bit. I won't file a lot because I don't want you guys to get bored <laughs> with the whole tutorial. And um, I think it's kind of fun watching other people file that art. Oh, I like my new one. Yay. Just coming along the side. Course, then you're gonna go over the top and I'll go ahead I'll do this off off screen and then come back to you okay there is one thing I wanted to tell you about when you go to file make sure you file on the other side I mean maybe that's probably captain obvious statement but right here right where you see that nail and I have noticed that if you go and try to fit this on your hand and it's it's standing up. You know what I mean? It's pressing away right there. How you can fix that isn't by shaving down the side. It's actually by thinning the inside right here. Let me show you. Just like this. Just thinning it on that wall. I don't know how that works, but it does. This is through a lot of trial and error. A lot. Glory be. It's crazy around here today. Oh, it's Bronte. Hold okay, on, so guys. that part that you really want to get is right there on the inside of it. And then it's it's amazing, and then it fits so much better. If it's still up too much, you do the same thing again. You don't have to thin out any other part of it. Just that inside or right there. And for the sides, I usually use it just a regular nail file. Then, look at that. How much nicer it fits. Isn't that great? Okay, so I want to show you that. I'll finish this and come back. Alrighty, I went ahead, finished all that filing. Took some rubbing alcohol on one of my little paper towels. Cleaned it all off of all the filing dust. One last thing to do. This is my favorite part. I like to put a UV gel top coat. A nice seal and I use this IBD Intense Seal to do it. I love this. But again, this is a UV gel product. So for us allergy girls, we gotta be careful. Can't let this touch your skin. I'm really careful. I'm just gonna go ahead and put a nice coating of this on there. I love this. I love how it makes everything just come to life. And then it can fill in any cracks or mistakes that you've made kind of filing you know if they're if they're little mistakes and just brings the whole thing to life sorry guys my hands are shaking and um, I don't know why I clicked my tongue okay <laughs> I think I've had too much Pepsi today but okay so I'm really careful to polish the whole thing I even go along the top a little bit because I like the whole thing to be try to be as perfect looking as possible. 
and we are almost completely done here. Yay! This will finally go into the lamp for its final time for three minutes. All right, guys, this is the final step. A little more of the rubbing alcohol after it's all done in the lamp. Of course, you gotta be careful, make sure you get everything. Go ahead and peel off the back. Put a little piece of tape there. Stop. And it's ready to go. Smooth and pretty. I did this one for my middle finger, so it would look like that. Isn't that pretty? Looks like the real deal. Okay, so, and I'll have some pictures for you at the end of what it looks like when I put my set on that I've already finished. Actually, I can show you. Kind of silly to keep them organized. I have them on. I have this set on the back of some of my gorilla tape. So when I have these put on, I'll take some pictures. All right. And I'm really glad you guys stopped by and spent some time with me. And that you know, even though I don't know a lot in the the nail art world, that I know some things. And I sure hope this helps other women out there who have uh, allergies to acrylic as well. So. Thanks for your patience, and I'm so glad you stopped on by. Okay, I was going to do some pictures of my nails, but I thought this would probably be better. There they are. All done. Just show you here how they turned out. Let me know what you think, okay? If it, I mean, try to stay positive. <laughs> but okay, so here it is.